I have created what is, in my opinion, the ultimate cute, cozy and practical iPhone customization and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up the same. Hi, my name is Lou and you're watching the Cozy Tech Life. In this setup we are going to use the full potential of focus modes with a full lock screen and home screen set dedicated for your personal time, one for your work time and one for when you go to bed. We are also going to make the most out of widgets with cute stacks, widgets that are timed that can show you your routine for example and even an interactive widget. And finally, we are going to use shortcut to customize our icons and even create a routine, a night routine to put you to sleep and preserve your battery without having to look at your screen and wake up. And of course, we are going to make the most out of iOS 16 with quick app launcher directly on our lock screen. You can follow along this setup guide with your own images and icons and style. And if you want the exact same look as mine, I have created a pack with all the wallpapers, the images I used for the widget, including the routines, and over 60 apps icon in four different colors, including the one I use. Before we begin, you may need to download a few apps. Shortcut from Apple, Widget Smith, Lockflow, and Widget Widget. Okay, let's begin. We are going to set up the first interface and for that we need to clean our home screen. So go onto your home screen, long press on the empty space and tap the minus on the corner of your apps and click on remove from home screen. Then repeat for all the apps you have on your home screen. Be careful not to delete apps, just remove them from your home screen. To make sure your home screen stay clean, go to settings, home screen and select app library only. This will make sure that every time you download a new app, it will not appear on your home screen, but only in the app library. To set up the first wallpaper, lock and unlock your phone. Then long press on the lock screen, add a new one by tapping on the plus, then tap on photos, all, and select the one you want. In my case, it is the one with the little tiger on the bottom. Then tap on the hour to customize its look and color. I like the thin font better and I love when it's white. Then tap on add and customize home screen. Tap on photo again and choose the one you want. Then tap done and voila. Okay, now it is time to create our routine widget. That is a widget that is timed and will change with a schedule. So to do that, we can open Widgetsmith from the app library or by search. Then add a large widget. Go to setting on top and click on timed widget. This is where the magic happens. So click on add, choose the time and then go to photo, file, choose the file you want. So for example, me, I want to take breakfast at this time and then go back and repeat for all the images you want in the day. Once you're done, tap on back, then name your widget and on your home screen, long press. Click the plus on top of your screen, then select widget smith, add a large one. And if you have more than one large widget smith widget, choose the one you just created. Then click on done and voila, congratulations, you have a routine widget. Now I want my most used app on my home screen, but I want them cute and minimal. So we are going to create custom icons. To do that, we need shortcut. So open shortcut, tap on the plus to create a new one. From there, search the action, open app. Then tap on app and choose the one you want. Then tap on the share button and add to home screen. Delete the name and then tap on the image, choose file, then choose the icon you want and tap on add and then done. Repeat for all the other icons you want 
In our setup, there is 8 slots available for them to all stay in the same home screen page. Remember when choosing the apps that it is our normal home screen and we are going to create a work one. The apps I chose to have easy access to when I'm not working are Photos, Pinterest, Google Map, Spotify, Camera, YouTube, Mail and Calendar. Now our home screen starts to look really good. The only thing is the dock. Yeah, the dock is a bit different because it's never going to change. So to create them, we are going to use the same shortcut process as the other ones and you can make as little as zero, if you want, up to four icons for your dock. And to set them up, it is pretty easy. Go to your home screen, long press on the empty space and delete all the icons from your dock. Again, be careful not to delete apps, but just remove them from your home screen and then place your new icons onto your dock. With this shortcut techniques to change your icons, you will have a pop-up every time you open the app through the custom shortcut icons. I believe there are ways to stop them, but I personally don't mind them and you can actually even customize them with cute messages. So for example, every time you open Pinterest, you can see get inspired or the message you want. For that, go to your shortcuts, choose the one you want and rename the shortcut itself with your message and then you're done. So for the second home screen of our normal mode, we are going to put a metal widget, a photo widget and a music widget, but we are going to make them cute. So for that, open widget miss, add a large widget, tap on photo, choose file and then choose the cloud one for the meteor or the one you want and then go on setting, rename it. It is going to make life much easier. Then tap on back and then save. Repeat the same process for a small widget with the music image and another one for photo. Now add a new large smart stack widget to your home screen. Then tap on the new widget and delete everything you don't want from the stack. In my case, it is everything except the weather. Now tap on the plus and select widget smith and choose the one you want. Now move this to the top of the stack and important, deselect the widget suggestion and the smart rotate. Now repeat for the small photos one and the small music one. And voila. Lastly, for the lock screen, I wanted practical widgets that get me even quicker access to some apps. For that, I'm going to use Logflow. In the app Logflow, tap on Add App Launcher, then choose the app you want. Now tap on the new app launcher you just created and tap on the symbol. Choose the symbol you want and unselect background. Test the shortcut. Now come back to Logflow and repeat the same process for all the widgets you want. You have a maximum of four per lock screen you want. Now go to your lock screen, long press on it, tap on customize, then add a widget under the clock, select Logflow and tap on the small widget. Tap on the new widget that just appeared and then choose the one you want. Repeat the same process for all the widgets you want and then tap done and set as a wallpaper pair. And voila, you now have a lock screen home screen set that will appear every time you're not on focus mode. Now let's create our work focus mode with its own lock screen and home screen. First, we need to set up our focus mode. For that, swipe down from the top right corner of your phone and press on focus. There you can choose the work focus mode, tap on the three dots and tap on setting. From there, you can choose the app and people you are allowing or not allowing to notify you. Below that, you can choose your lock screen and home screen, but we'll come back to that later as we need to create them before. For now, we are just going to add our schedule. 
So tap on that and set the time and dates you want. Since I want to create a lunch break, I'm going to create two sets of schedule, one for the morning and one for the afternoon. If you don't want to activate it on the schedule, that's fine. You can activate it manually from the control center we just went from that is on the top right corner of your phone. To set up a lock screen, lock and unlock your phone, then long press on the lock screen, swipe right and tap on the plus. Then select photo, all and choose the photo you want. I chose the tiger on the hill one. Now resize to make sure it fits and then customize the hour. Now tap on add and tap on customize home screen. Select photo, then all and choose the one you want. I choose the one with the clouds. Pinch the image to be sure it's not cropped, then tap on done, tap on the little focus you can see on the bottom of your image and select work focus. Then tap on the X, swipe up, swipe up and now you're on the home screen. For sure it looks weird for now but we are going to fix that a bit later. First open shortcut and create the icons you want for your work home screen. It is the exact same process as before. The exact setup I created allows for eight icons but I do not need the email icon nor the calendar and the note ones because they will be on an interactive widget. Personally, I created an icon for Notion, Lumofusion, Instagram that is connected to Planoly, a content planner and autopost app, Translator, Snapseed, Pinterest, Photos and Camera. As you can see, I created two translator by mistake, but I'm going to fix that later. To only have this home screen when the focus mode is on, we need to go back to the focus setting and on the customize screen, tap on choose under the home screen image. It's the one on the left. There you can choose the one we just created. Tap on that one and that's it. Now let's customize a bit more our home screen. For that, we are going to create first an interactive widget. For that, open Widget Widget. Tap on Create and select a medium one. Now tap on Add a new layer, tap on Image and tap on the plus to fill the entire space. Slide to Image, where you can see my finger, <laughs> then choose System then files and then choose the one you want. I want the one with the mail on the cloud and the calendar and the notes icon. Then go back and add a new layer. Tap on actions, Apple's app if you want to connect it to the Apple app, then mail, then slide to frame. Use the arrows and the plus to create a square around the icon. This is basically the space where you can click, where you can tap to open the mail app. Then go back and repeat the tap action layer for the calendar and the notes. Now go back and confirm. Go to manage, Tap on the first available medium widget and select the one we just created and select no. Now, if you don't want to use this app or if it feels a bit too complicated, which I assure you it is not, it's fine. You can use the same widget myth type of widget we were doing before. Just keep in mind, it won't be interactive, so you won't be able to tap on the icons to open the apps. This is what we are going to do for the two small widgets for Notion and Music. So go on to Widget Smith and create two new small widgets with the exact same process we used before with the image of the little reminder and the music player with the small tagger if you want to use my pack. Now all the process begin to be the same so I won't repeat them but now you can add new stack widget to your home screen, two small and a medium one. For the medium one you will want to add our widget widget that we created that is the interactive one with a pile of mail, calendar and notes and for the small ones, I created one for Notion with two different Notion widgets linked to two different pages. And the other one is for the music. And there you go. You have a lovely and mostly practical 
work home screen. For the lock screen widgets, I'm doing the exact same thing as the first one for the voice memo app, the notes app and the mail app. And voila! The last thing to do is to hide our work home screen when we are not in work focus mode. To do that, leave the work focus mode, long press on an empty space on the home screen, tap the dots and unselect the work one. Now, lastly, we want to set up our sleep focus mode. For that, lock and unlock your phone, long press on the lock screen and create a new one with a black photo. Change the hour as you wish and that's it. We don't need to customize the home screen wallpaper as we want it black too, so it won't wake us up every time we look at it. Don't forget to tap on the small focus on the bottom of the image and choose the sleep focus mode. To create the sleep loading bar, go to Widget Smith, create a new medium widget and like we did for the routine, go into the settings and time widget. From there, add the loading bar images synchronized to your sleep schedule. One for every hour of your sleep. Then click on done, name it and you're done. To be able to hide this loading bar, create a new medium widget and put an all black image. Now, create a few more small widgets, one for the clock, one for the weather, one for our sleep shortcut and one for the music. Now on the home screen, long press to an empty space and then swipe right until you have a new screen. There, add the widgets we just created. And as you can see, to make stacks, you can also create the widgets separately and stack them together. I feel like this is only feasible for the small one though, because the, the large ones are clearly impossible and the medium ones are a bit harder to get. Okay, to make our sleeping process quicker and mostly to avoid looking at our screen just before we go to sleep, we are going to create a great and simple little shortcut that will automate all the things we do on our phone as we go to bed, such as turn off the Wi-Fi, the mobile data and Bluetooth. It will also play you music for 10 minutes and maybe tell you good night. Okay, to do that, go to shortcuts, create a new one and search the action speak. Type the text you want, I choose my phone to tell me good night. This is optional, but I like my phone to confirm it is running the shortcut. Then search the action set low power and make sure it turns it on. Now search the action play a podcast or whatever and choose the podcast or music or playlist you want. Now add the action wait and make it the duration you want your phone to play music for then stop. I chose 12 minutes, so it's 720 seconds. After that, add play pause on iPhone and make sure to select pause by tapping on the play slash pause. I forgot it in the video, but make sure you do. After that, add also the action turn Wi-Fi off, turn mobile data off and turn Bluetooth off. That will make your battery health better and I think your health too. So that's it for this shortcut. What it does is that it goes through all these steps in order when you activate the shortcut. So it will say good night or whatever, then activate the low power mode, then play your music, then it will wait and then pause your music and stop your Wi-Fi, mobile data and Bluetooth. And all that without having to look at your screen. Isn't that wonderful? To make it even more practical, name the shortcut the phrase you want to tell Siri to run your shortcut. For example, I named it Je vais me coucher which is French for I'm going to bed. So every time I say to Siri, je vais me coucher, it runs the shortcut. It tells me good night, play me music and everything. I've put my phrase in French because I speak to Siri in French, but feel free to use the language you want. Now choose the symbol you want and the color of the shortcut you want. 
I suggest you to make it the darkest there is. For the moon, stack it with a shortcut widget and select the sleep shortcut we created earlier. For the lock screen, I did the same as the two other with one twist. I created a button to my sleep shortcut. For that, open lock flow, tap on the plus and add shortcut manually. Tap the exact name of your shortcut and select a symbol, the one you want. I selected the moon. Make sure it runs your shortcut smoothly and you are good to go. So go to your lock screen, long press on it and tap on add a widget. Add the lock flow widgets you want and choose the shortcut and what you want. I decided to put easy access to voice memos and to notes. That is perfect for me because I often have loads of questions and ideas I go to sleep and to be sure I don't forget them, either I record them or I write them down. The last thing again will be to select the home screen we want for the sleep focus mode in the settings and hide it from our normal home screen. I didn't add a schedule manually as this focus mode is synchronized with the health app where I have my sleep schedule already. Continue a bit further into the settings and there you can choose your sleep mode to be associated with the dark mode. This really helps for your sleep. And there you go, the coziest and cutest and mostly practical iPhone setup guide. I hope you liked it and found it really interesting. So yeah, if you do recreate the same setup with or without my pack, with your own style and everything, I would love to see it. The next video will be a setup of the iPad and the one after that, a setup and customization of a Mac computer. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe. Okay, I've kept you long enough. So Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao.